hello 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 lovely humans welcome back to my channel i really don't know if i like saying that anyhow <laughs> it's the first vlog and today is friday and i'm getting ready for an art event as i said they're going to be art stuff and this is going to be a very artsy weekend <laughs> I'm going to meet with a friend and, and then we're going to Reggie's uh, art exhibition. His uh, Instagram is Reggie the Nomad. He's doing amazing art. The latest series he painted in Zanzibar was um, about representing the strength in women. Uh, so we're going there. And then on Saturday, I'm meeting up with my mom and we are going to the festival of lights i'm very excited to see it i haven't seen it in a while so there's going to be some great stuff happening there enough of my rambling let's go and let's get ready first of all i'm half ready but like rest ready Satellites of art. They're going to have a discussion now. One of them is here, Reggie Kumato. We're very honored that you're here with us tonight and we're very excited. What you're going to tell us about your work. Reggie is not only an artist, he's a painter, he's also a screenwriter, he's an activist, and he is an adventurer. Very special event, um, And he's also the first to become an artist in residence of satellite of art here in Berlin. It, it has to, it has to come, it has to come from, from, from deep down, you know, like it has to, it has to be, you have to, you have to hear, you have to listen. Hi, hello. Gala activity
Oh my God, I'm so dead. <laughs> I don't know how to survive the day tomorrow. Oh, it was so beautiful. The festival of lights just, it was amazing. It really, really was amazing. It was on another level. And you had the feeling like the whole city was so happy <laughs> that finally an event was happening again. The people are in the streets and everything. It was like that. It, it was amazing. And there was music and there were shows and everybody was so happy and you could get drinks and uh, funny lighting for your hat. <laughs> I was just filming and taking pictures and everything. Festival of Light success. Four hours on the go, we were biking, we were walking for four hours straight. I have no idea how to walk tomorrow, but let's hope. Good night. Good morning. The lighting is really funny. Yep, yeah, so. Today is Sunday. I have no idea how I'm still standing. <laughs> And Sunday morning is around 12 o'clock at my breakfast. I even did a workout. It's like, where am I taking this energy? <laughs> Today, uh, I just got ready. I'm heading out to um, see a friend. She is um, at a flea market in Kreuzberg and she's selling some stuff and I'm going there to keep her company. And afterwards, I'm going to a show. It's basically a comedy show, I would say. Um, from Horst Evers. He is from Berlin as well and he's super funny. I, I just love him. I'm going there with my cousin. She's also in town for the month of September. So we're having some bonding time and maybe we're going to dinner afterwards. Let's see. This weekend is so crazy. I have not had something like this in a year probably. I feel alive. <laughs> And it gives me so much joy. It's so amazing to experience all of these because it's basically an artistic weekend. I mean, exhibition and then the Festival of Lights is also an art event. And today, another form of art with the theater and then some chill Sunday wipes at the flea market. It's just, it's just perfect. So see you later. Ja, ein schönes Café hier. to try this now wow wow i never tasted something like this super, super fruity <laughs> Geil. pretty happy pretty happy with it <laughs> it's interesting even when you're from the city you oftentimes see new places you have never visited before so let's go Vous m'avez eu mon amour. 
en vain me vous à la vie. J'avais envie de voir en vous cet amour. So we're now here in the theatre to see Horst Papers. Früher war ich älter, hierher gekommen sind. Ähm, und da ja nach wie vor, ich, ich saß ruhig gleich zu Beginn, das weiß ja ohnehin jeder, und dann nach wie vor kann man sagen, ja, besonderen Umständen, auch wenn diese Umstände jetzt auch nicht mehr so besonders sind, wie sie mal besonders waren. Aber es ist ja immer noch was Besonderes, um die Stadt zu regieren. Ähm, nein, das weiß auch jeder und das wäre auch Quatsch, das wäre ja noch schöner. Also das, nein, das ging ja auch gar nicht äh, sozusagen. Ähm, und, und es ist natürlich schön, dass, dass das eben hier in dem Wahlkampf keine Rolle spielt mit, mit irgendwelchen Plagiatzeug und allem drumherum. Das, das Einzige, das, das kann ich feststellen, es, es gibt nur eine einzige Sache, so, so am Rande, die mich dabei so ein bisschen gestört hat, so, so aus Berliner Sicht, was, was ich so ein bisschen, das, das hat mir schon ein wenig einen Stich gegeben, äh, eben dieses Gefühl, dass man jetzt mit so einem wecken Doktortitel, ähm, dass du da natürlich dann irgendwie äh, Ministerin, Bundesministerin für Familie und so, das geht nicht mehr, aber für Berlin reicht es. <lacht> 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 Man hört es nicht gerne. Also das ist irgendwie, da fand ich schon ein bisschen demütigend. Aber ansonsten natürlich alles Quatsch und, und auch wirklich, also da, darum geht es ja auch nicht. Und ich, ich finde es ja schön, dass es äh, bei der Berlinwahl um, um andere Sachen, um andere richtige Themen geht und so. Und außer, nein, um, um Berlin zu regieren, brauchst du auch andere Fähigkeiten einfach. Also da, da brauchst du Humor. Das ist ganz wichtig. Für Berlin brauchst du Humor und vor allen Dingen, um regiert zu werden, brauchst du noch. Also das ist ein Geben und Lieben und so. Also ganz wichtig, dass man übereinander lachen kann. In der und das, glaube ich, erfüllen alle Kandidaten. Also ähm, insofern sind wir da sehr gut aufgestellt. Also, <lacht> 